guys welcome back to another tutorial in today's video I'm going to show you how to recreate the Argyle jumper effect now as originally created by Emily Case of Dipto Nails um, to do this design I've chosen a cream base and to create this cream base I've actually used one coat of cream puff and then one coat of powder my nose over the top and it gives you a really nice cream um, finish this now all the way up to top coat and then remove the top film and what I'm going to need now is Breeze Alight Sculpting Gel, removable gel in pure white and I've decanted a small amount of this out onto my sun palette and I'm just using the spatula that came with the additives collection with the sun palette and all I'm doing is just working this gel a little bit to make it a little bit more flexible and more workable because obviously we need to do some straight lines with it so all you need to do is just work it around your palette with your spatula once you've done that for a few seconds the gel loses some of its ability to just stay where it's put because what we want to be able to do is to run our striping brush through the gel and create a nice straight line with it. So all I'm going to do is pull my striping brush through the gel get a nice even coat of gel have to excuse me I've woke up with a stonking cold and then we're going to take our nail and we're going to place our striping brush on and pull down so it deposits a nice line of gel one side and then we're going to do the same down the other side don't worry too much about neatening this up at this stage we just want to get the lines in place Take your time, make sure you get these lines as straight as possible. Okay. And then we can wipe that excess gel off our striping brush with a pad saturated with Disperse. The next thing we're going to do is take a square gel brush and some IPA onto a plastic backed pad. Just moisten this brush off now and then we're going to come into this and we're going to press it up against the side of that straight line just to even it off As you can see it makes that line nice and straight now and then we do the same with the other line Fuzzy going on in this bit. And you can manoeuvre this gel so it 
does still stay in place. We haven't removed the um, staying power of it too much. We've worked it a little bit, we've just enabled it to be a little bit more manageable with the striping brush. So now we've got two lines, two nice straight lines. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my Merlot pen and I'm going to pick up a small amount of the gel on my brush or on my pen and I'm going to draw an oval. same size or similar size underneath and so on all the way down this nail. So you can use the string as a guide. The beauty of working with the Breezer Light like Sculpting Gel is the workability of the product. You've got quite a few minutes before it actually starts pooling and losing its shape. So it will hold its shape for quite a while. The next thing I'm going to do is take a detail brush and then dampen it with my dispersed. And I'm just going to go in and neaten the inside of these ovals up if I need it.
and then we're going to go back in with our nail art pen and we're just going to do some dots on the outer edge. So we've got this 3D effect with the Argyle jumper. And then we want to position our dots in the same place on the other side. And just give them a little touch after we've bounced them just to get rid of that little point of it. So bounce your brush straight on the top of that point of it. Very very gently, very lightly and it will smooth those dots off for you so you don't have like a little pointy here sticking up. gel fall back down into itself. I love the versatility of the Breezer Light Sculpting Gel because it does hold its shape and it allows you to create these really cool 3D raised elements on your nails and it soaks off with your shellac when you come to remove it. So once you've gone around and just bounced a couple of times on your little dots, we're going to cure this in the CND UV lamp for two minutes, then remove the top film and your nail's done because we've already applied top coat before we've applied this gel. I wouldn't advise that you put this design on someone who is a picker because they will have a tendency to try and pick these raised elements off. So once that's been cured for two minutes in the CND UV lamp, as I said, wipe the inhibition layer off. And this is the design that you're left with. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You can find me on Facebook as Jenny Smith or Salatinos. And I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to keep your requests coming in. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.